In this video, I want to talk about functions and arrays. Basically, we will create a function and it has two parameters. The first parameter of this function will be an array or a pointer. And the second parameter of this function will be an integer number, which is the size of this array. So first of all, let's make the function declaration. I want to create a weight function. I want to say weight. The name of this function will be print array. So the first parameter of this function will be int array and the second parameter of this function will be int size so i want to copy this function declaration and paste it at the bottom of the main function and i will delete this semicolon so here inside this function we will write for int i is equal to zero as long as the i is less than size i plus plus so inside this for loop we're going to print the element of this array. So I'm going to say printf array person d. And here I'm going to say person d again. Backslash. I'm going to print a tab size. Here I'm going to say i array at i. Let's put a comma here. So this is our function. Our function has two parameters. Second parameter is an integer. Inside this function, we created a for loop. We said i equal to zero as long as the i is less than this integer, less than this variable size i plus plus. Basically, this integer size is the size of this array. And we said every time, every iteration, print array in i. So we're gonna call this function inside the main function. First of all, I'm gonna create an array. I'm gonna say int r equal to one two, three, four, and five. So here I'm gonna call this function, I'm gonna say print array, open close bracket. I'm gonna use this array as first element of this function. I'm gonna say r, and also I'm gonna put five as second argument of this function because five is the size of this array's number. It has five elements. So if I compile it, it will print the element of this array from one until five. So let's compile and see the output. As you can see, it prints array 0 is 1, array 1 is 2, array 2 is a 3, and array 3 is 4, array 4 is 5. Every array points to its first element. Basically, every array is a pointer. It is a pointer to its first element. This array R points to this one, its first element. It contains the memory address of this first element. So if an array is a pointer of its first element, you should use a star notation here instead of this curly bracket. So let's delete these curly brackets and use an star here. Basically, the first element of this function became an array. So let's compile again and see if it works or not. As you can see, even when we change the square brackets of an array with an star notation, we change this array to a pointer, it works correctly. It's printed all of the elements correctly. So basically, this square bracket is equivalent with the star notation because an array is a pointer, a pointer of its first element. So in this way, we can create a function and use arrays as parameter or pointer as parameters. See you next video and bye for now.